this every minute on the minute sequence, you're gonna need a rise. You're gonna be performing three exercises, each one for six reps. The higher the riser, the harder the sequence is going to be. So you want to pick a height that's appropriate for you. For this first exercise, what we're going to do is we've got squats. They're called A jumps. Up one, up two, up three. I got my six reps. Once I'm done six, I'm transitioning right into cross arms. Two, three, four, five, six. Once I've done my six, I'm stepping up and down. Two, three. On the third one, I'm going to switch one two, three. Once I'm done, I rest for whatever time is left in that minute, and then I repeat the sequence every minute on a minute for the amount of rounds prescribed. Now with that said, a uh, couple variations for you. With your A jumps, what uh, you're going to do if you're not an A jump person, you don't have the right height of riser, whatever it might be, is you can perform drop squats on the floor, Boom, and then transition right into your crossovers and you're stepping up and down. The other option would be either just a simple squat or a jump squat. Okay, so if A jumps aren't really your thing, it might be a little too hard on the knees, whatever it might be, you have that substitution for you. Another thing you can do with this little sequence here to make it more of a challenge is as you time yourself, see if you can get faster and faster and faster with it. So if it takes you 25 seconds the first time, set that as your benchmark and then try and beat it and get quicker and quicker as each round goes.